North Korea has, has offered very little through state media about this test. We do know that Kim Jong-un observed it and seems quite pleased with this development for his country's military. Uh, to get a better idea, perhaps, of, of what kind of weapon we're dealing with, we can look at previous reports of tests from North Korea that were uh, presented to the world through its state media apparatus. Uh, in November 2018, it also tested a tactical weapon. Uh, and that word is key. Um, compared to, per, per se, uh, compared to, say, a long-range missile, tactical uh, typically tends to imply something that's uh, shorter or guided, uh, more of a surgical or strategic uh, weapon. So uh, I don't think that there's... Um, any indication that North Korea is testing any, any kind of long-range weapon or a weapon that could uh, be deployed perhaps even to the U.S. mainland. That's not what we're talking about here. Um, Kim Jong-un and his military continually test these kinds of weapons. Uh, not all of it makes it into state media, and because the country is so closed off, we don't know exactly uh, what's going on. Uh, but South Korea, because the president here is so adamant about continuing this peace process, um, as we've heard him say before uh, during the previous test and other uh, signs from North Korea that it may be uh, treading back towards a, a, a path for testing and, and, and scuttling the talks, the South Korean leader has said North Korea is not doing anything out of line with the dialogue framework that we started last year. They're not breaking any of the rules. Um, North Korea has long maintained that it plans to continue developing certain kinds of weapons, so this, is, this should not be unexpected. I think the similar thing will go for the U.S. in this case. This was not a long-range ballistic missile test. It was not a nuclear warhead test as far as we know, as far as the U.S. and South Korea and other countries have detected at this time. And President Trump has had to deal with Kim Jong-un doing this before, including last year. So uh, if they truly want to hold talks, this, this shouldn't necessarily, based on what we've seen before, uh, derail the process. So, as I said, causes a bit of frustration, uh, maybe a little bit more tension. Why do they have to boast about these things when they're trying to sit down at a table?